of today so what i wanted to discuss is um scientists have actually found uh u.s scientists have found that uh, the brain can interpret images images like in 13 milliseconds so basically that means that uh, it takes 13 milliseconds for it to actually well recognize an image uh and essentially what that means is that um, uh, you look at something and before you recognize it as we know with the double slit experiment before you actually see something uh, you don't call it doesn't collapse so it's actually everywhere at the same time so that image can be every image that it could possibly be until you actually eyeball it yeah so if it takes you uh, 13 milliseconds to see to see the image um, that's basically um, that's one human being seeing it uh, now uh, imagine um, if there's seven billion human beings uh, that will be um, 30 milliseconds times seven uh, billion I've done a calculation here that's approximately 2.88 years yeah uh, and that's if you're looking at the human collective yeah uh, if you're looking at seven billion people that's the human collective um, so what that means uh, that quite calculation is that um, let's go back to the individual if you look at uh, uh, one point sorry zero point zero one three seconds it takes for you uh, to recognize something now there's actually one hundred and forty um, million um, 140 million cells um, neurons yeah in the visual cortex yeah and if it takes 30 milliseconds that's on average 10 million uh, uh, neurons will actually uh, start recognizing the picture every millisecond and by the time 13 milliseconds is up uh, all the 140 million have um, completely seen the picture and recognized it yeah now that's within your visual cortex now if you look at the collective the human collective uh what that means effectively is that uh one human being is like a is like a neuron in the visual cortex <laughs> in in the collective cortex if you like <laughs> yeah, um so well there's seven billion of us and there's only 140 million neurons so where would be anyway so the human collective in terms of the collective eye once say an image if you like rather than saying image once an idea starts um uh, uh, until seven billion people have recognized it you can't say that collectively we've recognized it now there's things like red the color red you all know what that is you all see the sky you all see the sun these are things that every one of us seven billion of us will recognize yeah um so before we all recognize it to the collective at the collective level to the collective um what you know as an individual can be anything and everything and is everything uh, at that level until all of us have seen it so that's why you have many different realities so when you go back to the individual um, before 0.13 seconds is up um, what you're seeing is everything is everything there yeah um, so I've, I've drawn another picture here to represent that uh, so what you have here um, when it gets to uh, 0.13 of a second that's when an apple actually forms uh, and then you can actually um, start to have all your parallel universes yeah and uh, when it gets to uh, 2. Oh, 2.8 years yeah the collective starts to uh, be aware of what's happened and then each individual yeah each individual uh is is within um that that collective so the collective starts to be aware of what the individual has seen and starts to actually um be parallel to the next level above it um so it starts to have multiple we have multiple collectives 
yeah to the next level to the super collective i'll come to the super collective later the super collective did not exist until the mandela effect came along because if we are aware of two realities then we are part of a super collective that is aware of two realities <laughs> um so that's why the the collective starts to uh uh uh, have uh, multiple existences or how to say parallel existences yeah now um if we go back to 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 the image uh that i was showing you uh basically um uh, you have the fibonacci sequence yeah if you like um um, and I'll describe it briefly here for you. Um, oh, hold on one second. Yeah, so if you like, um, just give me a second. Um, yeah, uh, oh, and just extend that. Yeah, so it takes you, um, this is the, on top is the Fibonacci sequence. Once one person realizes something, then two people realize it, three, five, uh, hundred at every level. Uh, and then let's say 65, um, 67, 65 uh, people realize it. Uh, then at the next level, this much will realize it. And that, that can go on, that can go on until you get to a point where, um, uh, bear with me one second. Yeah, then when you have 7 billion people regular, but this is slightly over 7 billion people in the Fibonacci sequence. So the level before that, 4.8 billion people recognize it. And then the level after that, uh, this much people would recognize it. And that 7 billion people occurs around, um, where it's 9,000, was it? Nine, uh, 91 million uh seconds so which is around here from there to there 62 million 101 million seconds um yeah so as we've put it there so uh this is the number of people and this is the time associated with that and that's how come um you have 2.88 years yeah which is that number of seconds is 2.88 years so once um, the collective has actually seen uh, uh, a new a new truth yeah uh, that's when it will fix that in in our uh, collective knowledge yeah but before before it's actually see, it takes like two years once you you come with a new truth it will take like 2.8 years for the collective to actually take to it yeah now most of the those people who do psyops they kind of like uh don't they don't know these thresholds that's why some of the times they try to uh accept new ideas and not all of us are on the same page and if not all of us are on the same page there won't be enough of us realizing what you're trying to accept for the collective to to uh take to it yeah um so uh that's that's that finishes my talk here on uh, the fibonacci sequence and the mandela effect and how many people needs to be seeing something for it to fix it for, for it to be fixed in our reality and uh, uh uh why uh the mandela effect is just a natural process as well uh it's a uh, it's natural process but because we become intelligent we're starting to fool around with nature and uh, these are just the side